In some liquid-fueled rockets, liquid hydrogen, much more highly concentrated than the gas, reacts with liquid oxygen. The reaction proceeds at a very rapid rate, almost a controlled explosion. Concentration clearly makes a difference in the rate of reaction, and so does the temperature of the reactants. In the frigid ice fields of the polar regions, there's little decay. Food left behind by polar scientists has remained fresh and edible for 50 years or more. But in the tropics, the chemical reactions of decay proceed at a rapid rate. In tropical heat, foods spoil quickly and easily. Every time a fuel is ignited, it's a demonstration that reactions that may take place extremely slowly at room temperature can be sped up considerably when the reactants are heated. The fact that concentration and temperature of reactants both affect reaction rate can be explained by the same concept, collision theory. According to this theory, reactions occur when colliding particles momentarily form an activated complex. Then the complex falls apart into new compounds. In any particular reaction, the more particles that are crowded into a given space, the more collisions will take place. This is what happens when we increase the concentration of reactants. A greater concentration leads to more collisions, and more collisions in a given unit of time make a faster rate of reaction. Collision theory also helps us understand how temperature affects reaction rate. When a reaction gets hotter, on the average, its particles move faster, collide more frequently, and with more energy. Now, many collisions are duds, they don't have enough energy to form activated complexes. Or if they do, the complexes fall back into their original configurations. 